property sulfate solution was electrolyzed using an aqueous uh, electrolyzed using apparatus as shown the copper to sulfate is there we are using uh, carbon electrodes so it contain a copper ion it contains sulfate ion it contain hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion so copper ion the copper is less reactive will move towards cathode and sulfate nitrate and carbonate never move so hydroxide will move there and as a result when hydroxide will move there will observe a oxygen gas so gas was formed at anode identify the gas so which gas is this that is oxygen what is the test for oxygen it will be a glowing splint and what is the observation it will relight because oxygen support combustion during electrolysis electricity passes through copper sulfate a solid copper sulfate does not conduct electricity why as of three months so why solid cannot conduct electricity because solid copper sulfate is ionic compound in ionic compound in a solid state ions they don't contain free ions or electrons that's why it cannot conduct electricity so copper sulfate is ionic compound that is one mark the nature of a compound you mentioned the second is solid copper sulfate does not contain free ions or electron ions are there but they are not free so as a result it cannot conduct electricity so distribution of the mark one mark is for mentioning uh, it's an ionic compound one mark is for mentioning ions are not free to move and the third mark is in aqueous solution when it dissolves ions are free to The electrolysis was repeated using the copper electrode in place of a carbon. The ionic equations are there. Which species reduced? So reduction means that is the gain of electron. So which one is gaining electron? That is a copper ion gain electron. So which species reduced? That is a copper ion. And what is the reason? Whenever you write oxidation or reduction in exam, always use the term. addition or removal of electron so the reason is that because it gain electron so one mark is for copper ion one mark is for gain electron the mass of the copper electrode changes during electrolysis state how and explain why the mass of two copper electrode changes so what is the reason why the mass change anode size will decrease cathode size will increase because Uh, from anode copper atom change to copper ion and why cathode size increases because the copper ions from the solution deposited at cathode so anode size during electrolysis active electrolysis decrease cathode size will increase because at anode copper atoms turn into Ion and at cathode, copper ions from the solution turn to copper ion. And in during the electrolysis, the active electrolysis, the solution or electrolyte does not show any color change as the concentration of a copper does not change. so explain why during electrolysis the copper uh, color of a copper sulfate does not change because uh, there is no change in the amount of copper ions no change in concentration of copper ions in electrolyte as the ions which enter and the leave are same that's why the color does not changes Question six: Nylon, thiolene, protein are polymers. What is meant by the term polymer? 
uh, what is the definition of a polymer? It's a large molecule which is formed by so the term polymer means it's a large molecule formed by small molecules the so one mark is for mentioning a large molecule and second mark is formed by the small molecules name the type of linkage in protein so protein contain amide or a peptide linkage nylon also contain the same linkage what is meant by the term biodegradable? The term biodegradable means that can be broken down by bacteria or microbes. If a substance can be broken down by microbe or bacteria, we call that as biodegradable. State another natural polymer so here the mentioned protein, we can mention carbohydrate or you can also mention fat. Nylon and thiralene are synthetic or a man-made polymer. The repeat unit of a nylon can be sh uh, as shown. Draw a diagram to show a repeat unit of thiralene. So when you have dicarboxylic acid and diol, how to draw a polymer? One side you will remove H, other side you will remove OH. One side you remove H and the other side you remove OH. So the structure when we draw O, then there is a box. So in exam also you have to draw this box. Then this OH and H is being removed. So there will be O, C double bonded with O and there is a box. And then C double bonded with O is there. OH is removed. So whenever you draw the condensation polymer and you have one side dicarboxylic acid, one side diol, one side you remove H, other side you will remove OH. In question 7, calcium chloride can be made by reacting calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid and excess of calcium carbonate is used. Like more than enough calcium carbonate is used. 50 cm cube and 0 0.5 hydrochloric acid is there to remove uh, or filter to remove the excess of calcium carbonate. How many moles of HCl are used? So how to get the moles? We have the volume and concentration. So moles of the acid is equal to concentration into volume. Concentration is 0 0.5 and the volume is 50, but we should always divide by 1000 to convert into decimeter cube. So this will give us 0 0.025. So first we solve by formula. Then deduce the number of moles of carbon dioxide gas. So we know about carbon dioxide. We don't know anything about carbon dioxide. So we'll use a ratio. So the ratio between HCl and carbon dioxide, according to equation two is to one. So if we have 0 0.025, then this will be X cross multiply. So this will be divided. So this will be 0 0.0125. So 0 0.0125 will be there. Then the mass of a carbon dioxide, how to get the mass? Again, we use the formula. We have the formula moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass. So moles are 0 0.0125 for carbon dioxide. Mass in gram, we don't know. And the molar mass of a carbon dioxide, you will use a periodic table because carbon dioxide is CO2. The carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16 into 2, so 32. So 12 plus 32, that is 44. So molar mass is 44. 44 is divided, other side will be multiplied. This will give us the mass of carbon dioxide, which is uh, 0 0.3. Or uh, 0.55. So this will be 0 0.55. Then volume of in dm cube for a carbon dioxide. So whenever you're finding a volume of a gas, the formula is volume of a gas is moles or you can have the moles equal volume of a gas divided by 24. But that is valid for gases. Don't use for solutions. It's only for gas. So you have the moles 0 0.0125. 
volume we don't know for a gas and 24 is divided other side will be multiplied so we'll get 0.3 decimeter cube of the carbon dioxide so first we solve by formula ratio formula and the last part again we use a formula so normally the first three state steps formula ratio formula Question 8, magnesium react with hydrochloric acid gives salt, water, and carbon dioxide. The results are obtained. Describe how the rate of a reaction changes during uh, the reaction and explain why the rate changes in the way. It's a four marks. So how you score four marks? First thing, you will mention the rate always decreases. And why the rate decreases? Because the number of the reactant particle decreases, so less collagen. And why the reaction stop? Because in the question they mentioned, we have excess of magnesium carbonate. So the acid is used up. So one mark for mentioning rate decreases always. And because the number of the reactant particle decreases. And as a result, number of par particle decreases, so less collagens. And eventually the reaction stop. Why the reaction stops? Because the limiting reagent used up. And what is the limiting reagent? That is HCl in this. Example. Then experiment was repeated using a same mass, same volume and concentration. How the initial rate of a total and a total volume compared. So if you use a powder, that initial rate will increase. But the total volume of a gas will remain same because we are using same amount of reactant. And here what happened? Why the initial rate increases? Because uh, large surface area, more collagen, more faster rate of the reaction. Then a piece of magnesium ribbon was a clean. The magnesium ribbon inserted instead of uh, magnesium carbonate. The reaction is exothermic. The rate of a reaction gradually increases. So why the rate of the reaction gradually increases for the over the first two minutes. So first what happened when the reaction occurred between magnesium and hydrochloric acid, it gives off heat. So temperature increase as a result, temperature increases. There will be more collagens between the particles. So reaction produced heat. So what happened? The temperature increases. As a result, uh, more energy or more collagens. Particles move faster. And greater number of the particle. Energy more than activation. So it will have a more successful collisions. So whenever a reaction is exothermic, overall rate automatically increases as the temperature increases. So this is the 